but Terence Crawford looks like a great fighter in his prime. And so you need to find another great fighter or special talent. Lomachenko is one to the south, but Lomachenko looks a little small for Crawford, and I think even by Lomachenko's admission, maybe Crawford is too big. I think Crawford feels the same way. There's no one else at 140, and so you look north. And when I look at the welterweight division, the only talent I see there that I think is special, that has the chance to be great and to compete evenly with a fighter like Crawford is Errol Spence. But Spence hasn't proven it yet. He's just shown that potential. Crawford has mowed down really good fighters now for several years. None of them have really been competitive. He is a pound-for-pound -pound elite fighter looking for another guy like that to make a big fight with. Great point. You heard him. You motherfucking heard him. Max Kellerman says that Errol Spence might be the only guy that could stop Terrence Bud Crawford. So he's basically saying that Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia, Amir Khan, Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao, Vasil Lomachenko, these guys ain't shit. They can't fuck with Terrence Crawford. Errol Spence, he's that guy. He's the only guy that could potentially stop and derail Terrence Bud Crawford. Now, to me, Errol Spence ain't really done shit. If he goes to the UK and defeats Kell Brook, then maybe we can start talking about Errol Spence. He could beat Terrence Bud Crawford. But right now, like I told you guys, and I'm going to tell you motherfucking again, Terrence Crawford beats anyone from 135 to 154. Like Meek Mill said, there's levels to this shit. And Terrence Crawford, he's above levels, above any of these guys, man. He can outbox you. He can just move and beat your ass that way with the jab. Or he can come in and whoop your ass with the power. Hit you with a 4-5 piece combination like he did to John Molina tonight. He has several ways of whooping your ass, man. There's levels to this shit. The only guy that could beat Terrence Crawford is Gennady Golovkin. And Golovkin is a middleweight. If Terrence Crawford for that 155, Golovkin versus Crawford at a catch weight, oh man. That would be the motherfucking fight. Those two guys are levels above all these boxers, man. And nobody can beat up Terrence Crawford, man. It ain't happening. So, Max Kellerman, Errol Spence, he's a good fighter. Don't get me wrong. He's a good fighter, but he just hasn't proven enough to me. He, does, he has some good body work. I like his punches to the body. He goes to the body well, but he won't be able to touch Terrence Crawford. You have to hit his body. You have to see his body to hit his body. And he won't be able to touch Crawford, man. Crawford would outbox him. Crawford has power. That would be a nightmare for Errol Spence. He would get embarrassed in that fight, man. But you guys let me know what y'all think. Terrence Crawford versus Errol Spence. Do you agree with Max Kellerman? Drop me a comment. Hit that like button and subscribe. I'm out.